Shalom Aleichem, sweetest friends. This year should be a special schus for Rabbi Yechiel ben Shalom. It's for Rabbi Chaim Dovin, Rabbi Shoshana, Rabbi Shlaim, Rabbi Rachel Hatzlach, Rabbi Chomad Sayyidayim, Kiddush Shana Bas Necha Gittol, Zara Shil Kayama. We're going to discuss in Siyat HaDishmai Kiddush HaKotten. In Ksub Esayin Gimel Amit Beis, Rashi says that a cotton doesn't have Kiddush. Why not? Because it's Kikach Ish Isha. Cotton's not an Ish. We have another Gemara, Sanhedrin and Beis Amit Beis. There in Sanhedrin and Beis Amit Beis. The Gemara is a mute. If somebody has niuf with the wife of a cotton, nachayv misa. So Rashi says because she's not his wife, there's no there's no wishes for a cotton. Why didn't he tup So if you just have the pasuk from Ksubis, the Rashi in Ksubis who brings the pasuk kikach ishi, she would say the chesar in the ma'isa kedushin. But maybe if it's not his ma'isa, maybe if someone else does it for him, then maybe there is an institution of marriage for a cotton. So for that you need Rashi brings in Sanhedrin. And Beis Amid Beis, that there's no wishes for a cotton at all. However, in Kedushin Yates Amid Aleph, the Gemara asks, is there Yehud, which is when the Adon marries the Ami Ivriya, can he do it for his Ben cotton? And the Gemara says, if you say that he can, then we find Ishas for a cotton. And if we find Ishas for a cotton, then why is the Pasuk Memayet Chiyuv Misa? Ish ki Yenaf is Ishas Ish. So it says Prat la cotton. Why, why do you, if, if you say there's Yehud, then it shouldn't be Prat Lakotten? Because they're married, so how can you say there's Yehud for a cotton? So Gemara says, okay, this is no Yehud. So then why do we need a Pasuk to be Mimayit? If there's no such thing as an institution of marriage, then we wouldn't need a Pasuk at all to be Mimayit. So it must be but there is an institution of marriage. And the Pasuk is Mimayit from Echi of Misa. So Tivshat Minei de Miyayit. So let's learn that this Taka Yid. It is Yehud for a Ben Akotten. A Cotton can get married. And the Pasuk is Mimayit, but there's no Echi of Misa. And the Gemara says, no, it could be that we're talking about a nine-year-old boy who does Yibum, and his B is considered a Bia. And you might think there's also a Echi of Misa, because... Because she's an Ashish Ish. So, Kamashman, but no, there isn't a Chi of Misa. But Akopanim, you see from this Gemara on both ends, whether it's Yehud or whether it's Ivama, there is a concept of Ishus by a cotton. And that's not like Rashi in Sanhedrin Beis Amid Beis. But there's no such thing as Ishus by a cotton. So, Akonim Shlomo Varm is Echatadik Vracha, Rosh Yeshiva Vishivas Hank in Nassau County. Big Tam Chacham, huge Tam Chacham. So he answered, he writes as follows in his Sefer Sheh Rusiel, Sefer Simen Memvav, in the fourth volume, that the sheet of the Rebar Zalai, which is brought in the Ma'arik, is that, uh, and also the Mishnah Lamelech, the Rekvav, Melchus Gerish, and Allah Gimel, that a father can be Makadish and Isha for his son, al Zak and Ladim. Zak and Ladim, Shalom Afonim. So for a cotton, it's considered Shalom Afonim. It's Kabbalic. A father can marry off. My 11-year-old son is married. Mom's still married him off. I didn't, but I'm saying. A father could do that. I don't have an 11-year-old son. And according to Mishal Melech, the Rebar, the Rebar's lie is Chosh for Kedush Torah. When the father is Makadish, meaning Zach and Lada. Now, this halacha maybe is totally, obviously a lot of people argue with the Rebar's lie, and the Shailah is Zechia Mitam Shlichus or not. If Zechi is mitam shlichus, as many Rishonim say, post numerous places, there's no shlichus for a cotton, but Mitzi Aleph. So if there's no shlichus for a cotton, there's no Zechia for a cotton, no Zechia for a cotton, cotton can get married, Mitzi Zechia. But the Rebbe Zalai holds, like other Rishonim, many other Rishonim, that Zechia is not mitam shlichus. And therefore there's no shlichus for a cotton, but there is Zechia. And therefore a cotton is getting married, Mitzi Zechia. The Avnei Miluin in Simon Aleph brings what he writes in Simon Memdalad, Os Dalad, that in Kedushin, we see that there's no Tfisis Kedushin by an Eish Asis from the Hekesh of Rav Yonah, who equated all the Raya's together. But he says that if somebody's Mekadesh, Echatzi Shifcha, Echatzi Bas Choyrin, who's an Eish Asis, what's the Halacha? Is he Chayiv Kares? No. Is he Chayiv Misa? No. Only Chayv and Hashem Tobit. 
So since the whole vort of Rabbi Yonah was that you have to be high of either Misa or Kares, if it's not included in Misa and Kares, it's not included in the Hekesh of, of, of Rabbi Yonah and Kedushin, some of Zion Amid Beis. And Chatsi, Shivcha, Chatsi Bas there's no Chiv Kares. There's no Chiyuv Misa. So therefore, Kedushin would be Tophes. A Chatsi Shivcha Chabi Chatsi Baschorin of the Nation's Ish. Why? Because it's not included in the Hekesh of Rabbi Yonah. And the Avne Miluim writes, he takes it a step further. In Simon Aleph, that's an Avne Miluim Simon Dalit. I'm going to assume an Aleph, right? That according to this, Kedusha Katan also. Kedusha Katan, Mepaz Zechia. Let's say somebody's, the father is Mizaka, wife to his Katan, to his minor child. What would the halacha be if somebody is with her? Is there going to be a chiyuv? Misa? Kares? No. That means that he's not included in the Hekesh of Rabbi Yonah. If he's not included in the Hekesh of Rabbi Yonah, that means there is Kedushin. Kedushin's Tophes. When is Kedushin not Tophes? Kedushin's not Tophes. It's the Chiv Misa, Chiv Kares. But a Chatsi Yeve, Chatsi Shiv, Chatsi Baschorin, there's no Chiv Misa, Chiv Kares, it would be Kedushin. And if it's an Aisha's cotton. But there's also no Chiv Mis and Chiv Kares. We have a mute from the Pasuk. So then there would be Tfisis Kedushin. If father marries her off, marries him off, there is Kedushin. Now, if there is Kedushin, if somebody else can marry this girl, this is not considered a schus. And if it's not considered a schus, then there's no ishus for a cotton. Because it has to be a schus. So you say it like this. We have a mute of ishus ish and not ishus cotton. So that means there's no chi of misa for being with the wife of a cotton or kares. And therefore, if the father marries him off, if somebody else is with this girl, there's no chiv misa chiv kares. And that also means that kedushin is tofes. Somebody else can, there's tfises kedushin. And if there's tfises kedushin, that means that it's not a schus for him anymore. So what sort of schus is it that somebody can marry his wife? And then if it's not a schus, then there's no zakim lo shalom fun if she's not his wife. So that means that there's no, uh, there's no such thing as aishas cotton. So based on this, we can understand Rashi. So from the Pach, so of Ki Yikach, we're a Maida Katan, that he's not Bar Kicha, because the mice of a Katan is nothing. Like Rashi says, I'm Gimel Amit Beis. But you would say that the condition of someone else is toughest. If the father is Mizaka, or someone else is Mizaka, the Katan, and a girl, so condition is toughest. Because he might not be able to do the Maisa Kedushin, but he has the institution of Kedushin if somebody else does it for him. But since from the Aishas Ish, or Mamayat Aishas Katan Mimisa, like Rashi says in Kedushin Yates, there's going to be no Misa for an Aishas Katan. And if there's no Misa, then somebody else's Kedushin can be Tofes. And if somebody else's Kedushin can be Tofes, it's no longer a schus for the cotton. And if it's no longer a schus for the cotton, then the cotton can't get married. And now we understand Rashi and Sanhedrin and Beis Amid Beis, that from the Pasuk of Aishas Ish, for low Aishas Kat, Ish Ki Yinaf, Asher Yinaf is Aishas Ish, Prat Le Aishas Cotton. From there, Rashi is right in Sanhedrin that there's no institution of marriage for a cotton. Just now, the Chiddush is 
how we got there. We got there because there could be Vayaschia. But if it's Vayaschia, then this Pasuk is coming to be Mamai, that even though it was done through Zchia, there's no Chi of Misa. If there's no Chi of Misa for being with her, that means that somebody else's Kedushin is Tophis. And if somebody else's Kedushin, like the Rabbi Yonah says in, in Kedushin, and if somebody else's Kedushin is Tophis, that means it's not a Schus for the Katan. And if it's not a Schus for the Katan, then he's not married in the first place. So that explains why Rashi says in Sanhedrin that there's no such thing as an institution of marriage, no Ishes for a Katan. In Ksubis, he teaches us that there's no Maisa Kedushin for a Katan. And in Sanhedrin, he teaches us that there's no institution of Ishes for a Katan. Very good. Okay, there's obviously there's tons more to say in the Sugya. So I hope uh, we, we say it. Very interesting Torah here. It's a Shem. Shem Shkibas, the Schus, the Koch, the Mochel, the Sivchus Chaim. Name the Amen. Shalom, Shalom, Sweet.